welcome back this is up north expeditions and we live a full-time traveling lifestyle so today we're headed back to work um jersey underpasses highways lots of fun stuff like that i'm gonna get over to the plant get parked up and i'll pick you guys up then That's running to a 110 adapter going to an extension cord. Now our extension cord is going all the way over to the far side of that guard shack. And that is usually plenty of power for even uh, you know running the AC in the summertime. So I don't think there should be any issue using that now. trick I learned you can do is take your uh, any kind of drill and that bar for your jacks just go ahead and throw that on there personally I set it on screw and then I, I set it a little bit on the high side so that when it does tighten, it doesn't, you know, over tighten the jacks. to two AGM batteries from one lead at one lead acid so we went from uh, 65 amp hours to 160 amp hours So once that light switch out in the, uh, the storage bay, it's actually right on the other side of this wall. Um, once that's turned on, it's drawing power from right there. And it'll show you right here on screen how many volts you're drawing, what the current temperature is. Um, yeah. So you press and hold the uh, start button. And it's going to start up the, uh, the fire-up procedure here. And... That involves, uh, you know, it, it gently blows out some air for a minute here. And then you'll hear the uh, the fuel pump kick on. Um, give me a minute, I'll show you that. 
So all of a sudden you'll see this uh, little icon show up and you'll hear tick, tick, tick. You can barely hear it inside here. Okay, so right now uh, it's been about a minute since we pushed the on button. You can hear some pulsing in the background from the fuel pump. And you know for sure that your heater is fired up because when you cycle through your options and you look at the uh, the unit temperature, it'll just start climbing all of a sudden. Oh. And that, that'll be your solid indicator that it's officially lit and that there, you didn't have any fuel delivery problems or issues with the vents being covered or anything like that. Once it gets rolling, this thing is blasting air out. This is the vent that I have set up to be the intake, and this I have set up to be the uh, the out. And uh, oh, it definitely does the job. I'm not going to be able to have it on for very long before I, I definitely need to turn it off because it's just not cold enough to be using it yet. Right now, I'm really just doing a quick demonstration so you guys can see the, uh, the install. But when you're sitting in, in your spot, that's how I have it installed. Right under the TV pointed at my feet. So just to clarify, with this diesel heater so far, uh, this is the eight kilowatt unit we have to have it on the lowest settings all the time in this size trailer um i honestly could have went with a five kilowatt or a two kilowatt but i thought it would just be a better idea to get the largest heater available and then have it turned down real low instead of getting a real small heater and having to crank it through the roof so right now it's running full bore uh you know on the lowest temperature setting so I'm gonna go out and let you guys see that uh, cubby and hear the, the fuel pump and all that. I know that's like a common problem that people think they're gonna have, but depending on where you mount it, that that ticking, the pulsing that everybody makes sound like, you know, like it's, it's this devilish thing. Um, to be completely honest, the, the intake and exhaust on the heater itself, like the fan noise, is louder than the pulsing of the pump. So it's, it's not something really I would be super concerned with. Um, so let's look at that storage bay. So this is our intake. That's our hot air out. All this wiring, the 12 volt power, is literally running behind this panel over to this light switch. And I have that LED bulb on the roof and the heater wired up on one circuit. Oh. This is your fuel pump. Mine looks like it moved a little bit during transport here. can tell it's working when it's working. But as far as sound, this heater is running right now and that pump is running. Um, I need to refill my diesel, but that's that. to turn it off it's pretty much the same procedure and then you don't want to turn the power off instantly by the switch you want to let it power down and cool the unit off so you don't want to burn it up the uh, the circuit board up on top of it
that about wraps it up for me. Ugh. I'm just gonna relax. Watch a movie for a little bit. Maybe some Big Bang Theory. Or some King of the Hill. Um, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.